First of all, we're going to hear from Elaine Bean about uh, INELS. And as, as, as many of you know, and Kate referred to this yesterday in her uh, chair's address, um, this year would have marked the 50th year of INELS. And uh, while this conference is about a new beginning and, and indeed made the things that, that Sarah spoke about in terms of our role in relation to teaching and learning, it is also important to acknowledge um, how we got here and, um, uh, and, and the background that have been to, to, to library conferences in the past uh, that we can build on and that this conference can take forward into the future. So it's a great pleasure to uh, welcome my colleague from Maynooth University, uh, Elaine Bean, to talk to us about uh, INELS. to read my notes for this. So. Um, thanks, Carl. Um, I've just a few things as the outgoing chair, just a few things, a few nice tasks that I have to perform this morning. And the first one is that I want to start by thanking Connell for giving us the opportunity to actually address the group. It's hard to believe, but 2015 would have been the 50th anniversary of Innels. So it's, it's a long time been there, and it's fitting that we mark the success and the staying power of the event. And if you think about it, you know, 50 years, it was unique in the library landscape, and it really did afford all grades of staff an opportunity to meet and to mingle, to share knowledge and gain experience. And if you think about it, you know, yesterday there was a lovely sense for me, because I was involved in Inlands, when some of you were walking in the door, and I was meeting people that I had met, and it was like, oh God, yeah, I haven't seen you for ages, because the last time we met was probably at an Inlands conference. And that really does stand to you when you meet people in this environment, because when you go to do something in work, and you're trying to to um, ring somebody, you know, I heard Manuth is doing something, oh, I met Elaine at a conference. It's easy, even if Elaine isn't the right person, it's easier to ring somebody that you've met and find out where you need to go. So that kind of thing, it really does help the experience that you have. So um, if you look as well, um, the experience that was gained, I don't know, maybe the feedback will reflect this, but one of the first conferences that I was involved in organising was the Innes Conference when it came to Maynooth. So hopefully some of the skills I got for that helped in the organising of this one. So the skills are, you know, varied, organising conferences or presenting or whatever. The All-Ireland inclusive nature of INELS has definitely been carried through to this conference. And INELS was about giving opportunities. You know, the ethos of INELS, when we looked back and we said, why was it set up? And Connell was talking about the start. It really was set up to give people an opportunity to do things. And there are some people today who are sitting there who are anxious because it's the first time that they're going to present at conference. And, you know, we kind of forget, some of us who've been talking for a bit, the first time that I was talking, I was sick. You know, you're sitting there and you've got that feeling. You almost don't hear anything that happened before you talk because you're going over and over it and for some people this opportunity is there and I'm delighted to see that it's all grades again at this conference that are there so that was what Innes was hoping to do to give all grades an opportunity and to have all grades hear what's going on in university so the fact that all grades are here we're all hearing the different things that are going on so that's really been good and today's conference fills a gap because I was talking to Carl yesterday and we were trying to think when we would have been hosting it. And so there has been a gap there. And this really does fill that. It's the first time that many of us have been together in a forum like this for a number of years. And um, I was talking to some other um, university staff and we were saying we had to go to England to meet each other to talk about some things because there were no conferences here. So we were in Ipswich talking about one thing or we were at Lilac talking about other things. And there's so many brilliant things going on in Ireland. It was a shame that we were missing the opportunity to hear it all. One of the really uh, nice things that I'm delighted to be able to say is the bursary that's going, the Connell bursary that's going to be here for the next three years, Connell are going to give a bursary to attend this conference. And the details of it will be on the Connell website. So it's really, I'm really grateful to, on behalf of the Outgoing Innes Committee for that, to give us this bursary. And what that will do is give an opportunity to somebody to attend this conference and possibly might be their first time presenting or you know, posters or standing up here. So we hope to keep that spirit going. So to end, as we bring the curtain down on Innels, I wish Connell the very best for this annual conference, and I hope that the rest of you enjoy the rest of the conference, and thanks very much.